What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So we're in this time of year where the releases of games I'd say for this month and for a little, maybe the next two, three weeks are gonna be less. There's gonna be less big hitters coming out. Although there are still some amazing games that have come out. This is the time where you can kind of dig into a few games and really spend a lot of time on them or dig into your backlog. So today I just wanted to talk about the games I've been playing. I'm playing three games right now, primarily. There's tons of games by backlog I still need to get to, but right now I've been kind of addicted to these three games. Now, the first game I'm going to talk about here, I got on Amazon Prime Day. It is the Division 2, and it's the gold edition of this game. So this is, I think, 100 and like in Canada, 130 bucks or something, regular price when it was first released. And I think what you get with this is you get, well, it's right here. So you get three day early access to the game, which doesn't matter to me because I got it way after it's come out. You get seven day early access to all the year one episode content. You get instant access to all year one specializations and you get exclusive cosmetics and additional in-game activity. So you do get a decent amount of extra stuff with this. Plus you get this like really nice steel case, which I mean, I have to admit they did a really good job with this but i didn't get it because it was a gold edition and i wanted all this extra content i got it because it was on sale for 40 dollars on amazon prime day and i played the first division and i did enjoy it i have to admit i enjoyed the first game but with the division 2 they have done everything so much better it is a way better game than the division one in every way possible I only usually play about one of these looter shooters every single year because I find you have to put way too much time into them and they get really addicting and you kind of want to play other stuff but you're always going back because you want to want to get more gear and everything and this is the one I'm going to be playing for a decent amount of time because it is just a great game it's a great looter shooter if that's what you're looking for this is it there's so much stuff to do the map is massive and all of the things from last from the first division they fixed like I found the characters being super spongy in the first division. I mean, they're still a bit spongy in here, but they've done things with the cosmetics and the way that their arm, the enemy's armor falls off when you're shooting at them that really enhances the game. When you're running around, there's always something to do. You're never bored in this game. Like there's always something going on. And that was a big thing in the first division that I found that you could be running around for a while and you would find nothing to do. Now the actual missions themselves are pretty good. They're fun. They vary in different ways. Like for example, you have to go into buildings, climb up them, shoot people from other buildings, or you're running through different areas like a museum and stuff like that. And there's also actual puzzles in this game. So there's also secret hidden rooms that you have to figure out how to get into to get some good loot. So overall, if you're looking for a looter shooter and you want one that's out that like if you're choosing between like Destiny or Anthem or this, honestly, I would go with the Division 2. It's a great game. It's a great looter shooter and it's everything you're looking for in one of these types of games. Now, the second game I've been playing is Madden 20. Now, Madden is a game that I've played almost every year for I can't remember how long since like the PS1 days probably. I've probably played that game every single year that it's come out. I've been the victim to those, what you say, just the roster updates, selling a game at full price. But I love Madden. I don't know what to say. I love football. I love watching football. I love playing football. I love playing the video game. So I get it every single year. And every single year, I have just as much fun, even if there's not that many changes. Now, Madden 20, I find, isn't that big of a jump for Madden 19? I mean, the biggest thing I can see with the gameplay is they made the running game a lot better. But why I like Madden so much is because I find it's kind of like playing chess when you're playing, especially other opponents online. You really need to react to what they're doing. You kind of have to predict what their next move will be. And you always have to be thinking ahead. So it's a sports game, yes, but it's a game that actually has a lot of strategy involved in it. Now, it's a great game. I play as the Titans. They're my favorite football team. I've loved them forever. So Madden 20 is another game I've been thinking a bit of time into. It just came out, I believe, on Friday. I've been I played through that 10 hour trial already um, through a access and now I'm just waiting for the actual game to come in the mail so I can continue to play it as well. And the last game I have been playing and that out of all three of these games has blown me away the most is if you saw my unboxing of this Fire Emblem Three Houses for the Nintendo Switch. Now when I pre-ordered this game I was excited for it. I played the Fire Emblems on the Nintendo DS. I loved Fire Emblem Awakening. And when I popped this in, I had spoken to some of my friends before and they had told me that they enjoyed it. They were enjoying it, but they find it kind of boring and everything and they didn't like the dialogue. 
So I was a little bit skeptical. I was getting a little bit worried that I wouldn't enjoy this as much as I'm enjoying it, but you really need to check this game out if you like Fire Emblem. Everything about this game I am loving. I love the dialogue, I love the story, I love the characters. I love the combat and the strategy you need to put into every single battle, even in the beginning of the game, the battles you need to think about. I love the professor part of the game where you're interacting with the, your students, you're interacting with the area that you're in, and you really need to develop relationships with everybody in the game in order to determine if they're going to join your team or how who's going to be your best friend and just little things like that it's absolutely amazing and i really am loving everything about fire emblem three houses now it's a super long game so i know there's just so much more stuff that i haven't experienced yet and i cannot wait to do that because i can't wait to just build up my team have build up different relationships go through the dialogue choose my different paths when i'm selecting when i'm going to respond to things and just just see how the story plays out if you're playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. So yeah, those are the three games I am playing right now, the three games that I'm focusing on. What I'm looking forward to in August more than anything other than these three games is Astral Chain. I cannot wait for that game to come out and that will probably be added to my list, which will then push my backlog for other stuff even further. But let me know in the comments below what you guys are playing, what you guys are excited for and what you think about these three games that I'm playing. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see, and I'll catch you in the next video.